Oh, look, so that's that. Hi, right, Sean. How are you enjoying Austria? Oh, Dave. I'm having a blast. Okay, so you can see we've got the, the metal front up there of that mini. And there's the other, there's the fiberglass one. The carbon fiber is the one will, as I said, will be the principal uh, front. And then we'll use this one as the backup. But, uh, Sean and I, well, Sean was very good. We, we've managed to put a bottom into this. This is metal. And there were some metal shells that, uh, that were <coughs> sitting in Vienna many years ago. And they were set in, in a, uh, 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 a room for the garbage to go out, so they were being thrown out. And there was a bunch of them, so I thought oh, I'll grab them. I might be using, them. and that must have been about I don't know six or eight years ago. I found them. I think there was about twenty shells. Anyway, we were, we're going to use wood like we did on this side. Uh, as you know, I think I showed you before. There's wood on this side. And we're going to do the same kind of thing and put it across. Now it turned out we built them at seventy, so the width of this plus the other side is 70 and initially I thought well even if we use these and put them side on and it turned out these are 60 and this distance from here to here is 60 but, I mean so it was perfect so all we had to do was drill holes and put them uh, 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 what do you call them bolts self tappers so all we had to do is put themselves tappers in, and as you can see, they fit absolutely perfect. It was sheer luck. There was no measuring involved, or I thought I remember I had these things. It was just sheer luck that they happened to fit, and fit absolutely spot on. Look at that. So there you go, a bit of luck. Everybody needs it. So this is the subframe we're going to be using. And um, what Sean's doing, he's actually sandblast. We're going to sandblast the whole thing, but just now we're going to sandblast all these areas where there's just really tack welds on them on a few spots so to beef them up a little bit so I was speaking to Kevin Richardson and he's going to beef up one of his subframes same kind of way uh, and I think it's from that uh, is it David Vizard the mini guy um, I, what they're saying is is put a little um, gusset in here because these are bad for breaking in the corners a little gusset there and then uh, on the other side here, so I'm going to do, it's gonna, what we're going to do now is going to put them back in the sandblaster and we're going to do that so we'll get, give them a weld on the edges, can only help. And then here, you can see that it's gone around that. So what we intend to do now is, is weld down there, down there and, and right the way around because there's only those tack welds on the corner. Um, it can't, it can't hurt. Um, especially the car's going to get a fair beat, and I, can, I know it's on a track, but it should, should stop any stress, doesn't it? So, what do you reckon? Yeah, yeah we think so, Dave, yeah. Absolutely. It seems everybody is beefing these up. You've done this on your road car, this one, yeah, Terrence. Yeah, will get the top. So, this seems to be a fairly common uh, way of doing it, so I've just gone round. What we'll do then is we'll just clean all these welds back, make it look nice so they're not sharp. But you can see I've done all the welds along there. And just really prepare it. Um, and uh, yeah, beef up what we can. I think the other thing we're going to do as well, we'll take this brake line off here and this bottom stabiliser and what we're going to do is actually put a, a, uh, a gusset in from there to there. <clears throat> and the reason I want to do that, particularly on this car, is because I want to lift it on that, on that jacking frame that I made with a half moon pipe. Because this is easily, well it's strong, but it's easily uh, flexible with the whole weight of the car on it so I'll do that make a gusset in there and uh, yeah I don't know I mean even here you can see oh, there's one well there one there they're not a lot on them is there when you look at them but they don't seem to tear there but then you know you're not putting excessive you know with a, with a bigger engine and quicker and faster you're putting a lot more wear and tear on them so that's the plan <coughs> just a Finish up, that's been all sandblasted, so we can do some welding on that tomorrow. Heads up, this is the the new bulkhead, and you can see the fit now. Uh, it's even gone down and fitted it in there. So when you take it out, this piece comes out with it, so it sits in. Uh, you can see how much nicer 
that is on the side. And then all the bulkheads, this is two mil, this bulkhead on both sides. So, um, got to put a new piece in there, this was rusty. So, yeah, it's coming on, looking good. Really nice, it looks nice from inside too. See, there's a lot more um, space now for the uh, for the hose to come in. We might even change this round. I'm not sure. I mean, I used the original holes for the vents, but maybe we could, I don't know, come across a bit better here. I don't know. Anyway, so there you go. Another, it's got a bit. This has all been seam welded along all the way along here. And then this will be done tomorrow. It's been done here, but we're going to do this as well. So it's all solid. No, it's absolutely solid. Yeah, it's very pleased. Yeah, so we've just we've put this, we're not putting the scale on yet because we've got to build these uh, new inner wings at the top. But this is the top, so we'll just take this out. This is the, I can go to the back. And this is just sat on the car, there's no screws in it, nothing. All we've done is, is put it onto these pegs at the front here. So we'll show you, you can lift it off, if it'll come off, will it come off? Yeah, so we can take that around the back. And you can see he's made a beautiful job of the, uh, <coughs> the bulkhead here, it's all really nicely done. No, really nice, Sean. Really good job, Sean. So, yeah, me has done all the bulkhead, it looks really nice. And obviously, under here, we can get to everything before we put the scuttle on. So, we've just got to build these inner wings. And the front, you can see obviously that the subframe has been uh, cleaned up, it's been sandblasted and welded and painted. And these are the rods that we're going to. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, get the fiberglass one. Uh, front and uh, cut, cut the holes in the front of it and see how that sits with the skull in this position See if we can use both or not. So we'll bring you back when we put it on If I put the uh, I'll show you that the carbon fiber one is over there As you can see and this is the one that was kind of given to me by Alex R the DGSC that he was going to try and use on his mini but what we found is and i know Alex has had some problems with it trying to get it to fit right and basically it's just a bad molding is what's wrong with it um from from hit from the front of the headlight to the back of the wing extension is a shorter on this side and is on the other between a centimeter and three quarter and and, uh, and yeah, centimetre, a centimetre and a quarter, something like that. So that's quite a bit across here. And the reason we can see that is when we put it onto these spikes for the subframe, we could see that the, 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 the it was sitting further on this side than it was on that to, to get it in a good position. So you have to actually push it further in here and less on, on this side. So it's usable. Um, I think we can do something with it. And, uh, and it'll only be used as a backup. The principal one will be the carbon fibre one, um, but we'll have to kind of dolly this around a little bit. Now you might say, well, you know, it's, this is not for aesthetics reasons we're doing, we're trying to get this correct. It's more for the internals because obviously I want a front mounted radiator on here. Um, and so everything has to be right because that can't be moved. You know, we can put sponge in between or packers with, with, the, with the flip front or with the uh, um, fiberglass front, but the internals and where the mechanics are has to stay the same, so that's the most important thing. So, this will be the secondary, the backup one, and the carbon fiber will be the principal. So, there we go. And as I said, it comes off fairly easy. You can just it won't, it won't sit on his own, but we've, we've made that so that it fits probably. Over the other one. Okay. Oh, yeah. Don't any money. It fits better that way.
Perfect. So, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby.